Hey, hey, my creative friends. It is Sunday, so it's the night, or it's night here. It's the day I tie in creativity with spirituality. Um, and we talk about the tie-in there. So, um, we also had friends over today for um, dinner, and it was nice. They taught me how to make cloud caca. It's a, like, I feel like brownies. It's like a moist little brownie thing. So it's kind of like a little crust on the outside and and uh, gooey on the inside. So I learned how to make You have to make it. You have to learn how to make it when you're here. So that is part of our future <laughs> to always have that. Um, and let's see. So today's Sunday. We went to church today. And in the lesson, the gal that was giving the lesson asked me to um, help out. And it was, um, the lesson was about hardship and seeing, you know, the immediacy, seeing the immediacy of the Lord in the moment. I mean, cause, because a lot of times we have to wait a long time to see blessings or to see things happen. And so this lesson was about how we can see God in the moment. And so she knew um, that our daughter had passed away and there was a story in the article of a child that passed away for this couple and so she wanted to bring it more to more personal to other people and all of us because when you know somebody who has those kinds of experiences it just makes it more personal and so she asked me to share and um, I consider that and some of my friends have heard this I consider that um, a Red Sea moment meaning a lot of times the children of Israel and the people in the scriptures talk about what it, they always kind of go back to this, the Red Sea, how, you know, don't you remember how they part, you know, Moses part of the Red Sea, that God did this for his people. And, and it was such a significant thing that it's, it has been remembered for thousands of years. And so those significant things in our lives, um, I call Red Sea moments, where we talk about time in context of what happened then. So for me, my Red Sea moment was Layla before she would, before she died and after she died. I know some of my friends have um, things in their lives that have happened. It can be divorce, it can be um, some other traumatic things and you kind of um, judge time by that moment. So the Red Sea moment, and it made me think today about um, this, uh, this wall thingy, thingy I did, <laughs> wall hanging I did. And I put it in, um, on the, my Shannon Studio page, uh, Facebook page just before this video. And it is a, um, a wall hanging because do not be dismayed. Hi, Trisha. Do not be dismayed is, um, this scripture, that phrase is important to me. It has significant personal meaning to me. And so um, I made this thing so I could remember and have it, you know, um, I put it in my house so I can see it often so it can remind me to, to not be afraid. So um, what it says in Joshua 1.9, it says, so the Lord is talking to Joshua and Moses has just passed away. And he says, have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage, be not afraid, neither thou be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. And as I thought about that, so, you know, the scripture, do not be dismayed. So dismayed is not a word we often use. And so I looked it up because that's what I do. I love the dictionary thesaurus to kind of, you know, broaden and give more um, meaning to the meaning. <laughs> so it's, um, so I looked it up and some of the things that came out that are on that sign, um, it says, do not, um, don't be afraid at the sign of trouble or danger. Um, so he's telling Joshua, don't be as afraid of the, uh, at the sign of trouble or danger. Don't be frightened, discouraged, disheartened, depressed, disillusioned, troubled, alarmed, apprehensive. So don't be all those feelings that come up out of a natural consequence of what's happening come up. And you know you know the feelings that can come up in certain situations. Um, it also means don't lose confidence, don't lose courage, don't lose enthusiasm. 
because in all of this, he says, in all of this, all these feelings that you are going to feel, um, he says, I will strengthen you. I will help you and I will uphold you. And, um, and reminds Joshua again, be strong, fear not, because I am with you. So Joshua's natural, you know, he, the Lord's telling this, and he says, have I not commanded thee? Like, haven't I said this before? And it goes through in, another, in other parts of Joshua. He tells him again, I have, you know, do not be dismayed. It's like, I have to keep telling you. But then when you look at it from Joshua's perspective, he's, you know, here's Moses. And, and Moses, the baby in the bulrush Moses, the one who's Pharaoh's um, daughter's son that takes on that whole um, lifestyle. And then the burning bush and the 40 years in the wilderness, the um, part, the uh, 10 plagues, the parting of the Red Sea Moses, the holding the rod Moses, the... Um, the water from stone Moses, the quail from the sea Moses, uh, the the whole um, the the he just uh, rules Israel, the builds a tabernacle, <clears throat> um, reestablishes the Levitical priesthood, um, the Ten Commandments Moses. So I mean, Joshua is looking at this Moses, and I'm supposed to follow after him. So. The feelings that um, Joshua has are natural. The feelings that we have after traumatic things, after your Red Sea moment, my Red Sea moment, are real. And the Lord knows that they're real. And he's trying to get us to, to have enough faith to get past that moment. So um, the, the idea of of what happens after a Red Sea moment is you're a different person. You're not the same person you were before. You can't be the same person you were before. And if you hold on and rely on things that you know or revisit things that you know and strengthen those things, um, you're going to go through life after that in a different way and be a different person. Um, the, our Red Sea moment that week that she was dying, I saw the Lord in in so many ways. Um, I just there were miracles, there were there was comfort, there was burdens being lifted. It was it was amazing to me in a moment where it was the worst thing that had happened to us, and to see to be able to still see God. So when He says, "Don't be afraid, don't be dismayed." Um, don't lose confidence. Don't lose your courage or don't lose enthusiasm for what you already know about the gospel. It, it totally makes sense to me. Um, and when you want to relate it to creativity, there are some times that we just do not feel like making art, feel like making things, being creative. We just don't. And I think in those times, we just do what we can. And we just hold on to those things that we know. And we just continue with the habits that we have of our already established. Because at some point, you're going to recognize these with you. And some of those things are going to make sense. Maybe, well, and maybe they don't make sense. Maybe it never makes sense. But you're going to find that you have had courage to go through it. You're going to find that you can still feel the love of God, even with something terrible. And that he hasn't left you. And we, you've got to find where he is when in those moments. And I know that being creative in my life has built res resilience. I was going to say resistance. No, it's built resilience. And um, having faith in God has built resilience in me. So that when that came, when that week came, um, I was able to just hold on tight and that's all you can do sometimes. And it took a while for me to come out of that, to be creative. But the thing that happened was that's, that's one of the, the, the tangible things I was able to lean into. That's one of the things that I returned to was the creativity and to be able to do things that, that lifted me, that, that, um, reminded me that there's still life after your Red Sea moment, um, or after my Red Sea moment. So, um, 
that's the tip today, Sunday, is to not be dismayed. Don't be afraid. Don't be frightened or depressed or, um, and it, you know, I believe that we have to feel our feelings. And so I think when he's saying, don't be depressed, don't be discouraged, don't be frightened, I think he's meaning don't stay there. Because obviously he knows we're going to feel dismay. He knows we're going to feel this, but he's saying, remember everything else that you know, don't stay there. Don't, don't let that become your new norm. And um, it takes work. It takes a lot of work to, to not stay um, in that place. And, and, you know, and I don't, I don't point fingers at anybody who has difficulty coming out of that place. Um, that's, that's, that's your journey. Um, Trisha says, I like the term Red Sea moment. It takes a long time to walk through to cross and we have help. True, true. We, we do, we have lots of help, but sometimes in those moments we don't see that. And so I think that's what he's trying to, to remind Joshua is that Joshua, you've been with Moses this whole time. You've seen all these things. You know what I can do. And if I say, you're the next leader, you can be the next leader. So I think the Lord tells us, you know, that message of you can do this. It's, it's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. You're going to fail. You're going to fall. You're going to feel these things. But don't stay there. You can come rise up out of that, walk through it, um, and, and be okay. And be okay. So that is my tip for today. I have, um, and I like sharing these on Sunday because um, this is who I am. I believe in God um, and what he has done for us and what his son has done for us. And so I like these little moments to be able to share that and because it's such a part of my life. So um, share if you have any thoughts about this, about and what maybe what your Red Sea moments have been and how you have been able to um, build your resilience and come through it. Or even if you're, you're not coming through it yet. It takes a while, like Trisha was saying too, and like I believe it takes a while to go through the process. Um, and like on this one, Joshua, he tells Joshua more than once, do not be dismayed. He didn't say, man, you're depressed, you're forgetting, you're afraid, and you don't, you've lost confidence. So therefore, you're out. He doesn't say that to Joshua. He says, again, it reminds him, do not be dismayed. Don't stay there. Come back to what I think and I know you can be and lead these people. I think it's the same message for us. Come back to what you know to be the happiness that can be found in life. So that is, that is um, my tip in sharing today. And I know that you have a creative heartbeat. So listen for it and let it work in you. And I will see you tomorrow.